Howdy folks, welcome to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I'm going to try a new series on here, I'll probably do two or three videos and kind of see how the reception is. If we get enough interest, I'll continue the series. Uh, this is a really awesome game, it's a city builder uh, with a little bit of a twist though. You can actually use uh, your own resources to build your own stuff, uh, so not just spend money. So we're going to give it a whirl. Uh, I am pretty much a noob at this. I've got around 90 hours, I think. Uh, but most of that was a long time ago, uh, before they even had heat in the game for those of you that play. Uh, and now there's like water and sewer and other stuff. So it's getting pretty complicated, but I wanted to give it a whirl and we'll see what we can do. So we're going to go into a new game. Now you can create a random map, uh, but I've actually downloaded some maps here. I kind of wanted to try this. Uh, I think it's Tega. Tega? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, I think we're going to try this one. And I'm going to go hard, but then I'm going to adjust it. I want more money because I'm going to make mistakes. <laughs> I'm a noob. Uh, I'm going to put this unsatisfied citizens back down to reasonable. Uh, we have it always a day so we can see what's going on. Uh, building fires back to normal. We are going to start in 1960. And then I think everything else. I think crime and justice is still kind of broken from what I gather. So I'm going to leave that disabled. It's disabled by default. And yeah, I think we'll jump in with those settings. So I want to kind of try to start small. We'll get a basic like starter village going. Uh, and then we'll work from there. And the way this works is we have border connections. I'm trying to remember. So we got some coal and iron there. I'm trying to remember where the connections are on this map. Here we go. I think it might have been this valley I was looking at. Before, yeah, because there's oil here, so it might be a good starter industry. Uh, we've got 10 million rubles to work with, and then we got two million dollars. I'll probably keep the dollars as kind of my reserve, maybe for emergencies if I need to build something. But what I'd like to do is, like I said, start small and get a starter village going, and then start building our own stuff. Now we'll have to import materials at first. Uh, then eventually we can start getting, you know, gravel and lumber and and stuff. Making our own and using that to build with. So let's take a quick look at fossil fuels, oil. Yeah, so there's oil in here. So we can put several pump jacks down. And we could even just ship out raw oil. Uh, to begin with, before we refine it, because the oil refinery, uh, it's a pretty big deal to build. One thing I want to do, though, is I want to go put this on build from resources and then make sure we don't get citizens right away. I want to control when and how we spend. I think that's the two main things. To look out for so the way this works is you have border connections and you can import and export from here uh, we have rail line as well as road and then you can buy power uh, we don't have any power yet we'll have to uh, work at that this map looks really awesome though the randomly generated maps are just they're kind of bland uh, i wasn't a big fan so I'm thinking we got the oil all around here. We might try to have our refinery here. So we want our town kind of a little bit away from that. So I think maybe we'll start in here. How flat are we? Not too bad. We can start in here with our uh, starter town. Maybe I should put down the oil pumps first. Well, what's it take to build the oil pumps? Uh, let's see here. I gotta get used to the, even the menus have changed since I played. 
uh, a pump shack. So it takes 224 work days. Uh, three tons of gravel, 6.3 tons of steel, concrete, asphalt, mechanical components. So that's all the stuff we'd have to import. So I could build a starter town and a construction office and start building this stuff. Or I could just spend it right away. We've got the money, so I think I'll I think I'll get some oil going. You know, a little bit down here. Uh, and then we'll start working on our, our little starter town. So you can see the quality of source here changes. So we got some good stuff. Let's see eighty one. 81 is about as good as we're going to get. Um, so let's point that way. So we're going to put one here. And over here we got we got 72-ish. Seventy three. We'll kind of point this way. Uh, we got uh, almost eighty. Seventy nine. So we can get about six of these. Over here, 60s, high 60s, 67. All right, how about one in here? We got 60s, 63. Okay, so now we got all of those, and then we want to bring in. Uh, liquid, so we need pipes, and we're going to want to sort these up. We have a pipe pumping station, and we can build underground pipes. They're just a little more expensive. So I think we'll go for above ground. And we want a three into one. We want to combine these up. So I'm going to put this guy here. And then we should be able to reach. Change the curvature here. That'll work. And then we need these three connecting in. Nope, not underground. So means you gotta turn the tool tip will cover it up. And I want this guy. And if you hold control, you can rotate finer and it also doesn't auto build that stuff. But it looks like that would work. So let's do that uh, and let's get a storage tank in here Have the two inputs all right so that will pump out six months worth into that storage tank uh, now we want to get this crude eventually down here to oil refinery uh, but for now so I don't want to build the refinery. But we can we can set it up and just not build it yet. So we've got two inputs and then we've got various outputs.
So let's put that here. Well, that doesn't tell me, but I know it puts out uh, oil and fuel and bitumen, I think, are the three. So we're going to want at least three different storage tanks. So, building in the way, what? What does I mean building in the way? Uh, sometimes this game's a little strange. I can build that direction. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that should put out the three outputs. And a lot of you will be experts at this game. So feel free to leave comments of everything I'm doing wrong. Because <laughs> it will be a lot. Then what I'm going to want is a train. Coming in here and to export all this stuff. Uh, so we want a... Oil, fuel, loading and unloading. Is that the train version? That's the road version, okay. And what we'll be doing is, wait, do, do we have three? Now I'm getting all confused. Oh, refinery. Oh no, it's just fuel and bitumen. I was thinking to have like some kind of refined oil, but so we only need two storage tanks, right? Why is there like four outputs? That's okay. That's why I'm in pause mode and we're not paying for anything yet. So if I unpause that, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, so fuel and bitumen exporting. And then we want the train station version of this. We'll set this. It's fairly flattish out here. I don't know if I need to turn the trains around. I can't remember if that how that works in this game. Like, will I have to turn the train around? So maybe it would be better to, or they just magically flip around like other games. I actually don't remember. So we'll set this, set this over here in case we have to do the, the train tracks. But what we're going to do is initially we're going to have this oil just come down here. And then I think we'll build this. I kind of like to build stuff. I'd like to get to that point. But uh, we've, we're starting with 10 million. Maybe we should just build all this and then build a town to support the refinery. I keep changing my mind. <laughs> um, I'm starting to wonder if we should have two sets of tanks here just to be safe. Yeah, we can always add on, I guess. So let's do a pipe there. Pipe here. And we'll have the tracks coming in. And we need a pipe. Can't quite get there because of the hill. We can raise and lower.
Oh, we're gonna need a pumping station because it's too far. All right, well, in that case. Let's just put the pumping station. Doesn't really matter. But if we're gonna eventually have more, let's make it like so. I uh, need to flatten terrain. Let's do it that way. One thing they don't really have is uh, like pipe crossings. So we're gonna have to make our own. So let's come down. Put this up high enough that we can probably get a road under it. We'll go down. So in case we need to come through there. And I'll do the same thing over here. Come up a ways. And then down. That way we can get rows through there if we need to. Okay, so that's our basic uh, oil production. Now we're gonna need power for all this. So we need to get some electricity in here. We need a, we need a lot of stuff to happen. And then we're gonna need, uh, of course, road access. And I'm gonna start with dirt roads because they're free. Uh, so we're gonna need a bus stop in here. So if we, to bring the, the workers in. So we'll do something like that. And then most of the stuff needs a road connection for like firefighting equipment to get to it. Um, so I'll probably need to raise these up. I don't think those are on hotkeys. So let me raise these up if I can. Go up two. Now let me get a road through there if I need to. through, uh, bring the angle in. So we'll do something like that. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here, getting road access. Have that head kind of towards where the town might be. And yeah, these dirt roads, like I said, are free, so this is all subject to change. Um, now I need to do all that up here with the roads. So I'll probably do that in between uh, sessions. And then we're going to need power, so we're going to have to get power out here. Uh, we just go here. Yeah, so this is super, super complicated. We've got power, we're gonna have water and sewage. We've gotta have heat for where the residents are living and working. Uh, it quickly becomes an infrastructure chaos. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna need an electric substation. So all this stuff needs power. Uh, so we'll have one of those. Let's put it like And put that where it'll hit all these not really all right so when you're in build mode scroll rotates but if you hold shift you can then zoom 
All right, so let's get this guy hooked up. We'll get this, at least the substations put in. All right, so we're gonna need a substation here for this stuff. And then all these pump jacks take power. Uh, so we're gonna have a road. on that side. So if I put one here, I need one over this direction. Some of these pipes will have to change so I can get roads under them. Swing that around and then we'll have one here. Uh, then we're gonna need to get power over here. We're gonna have to get it distributed to those. So that's the the very start. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of a an effort to get started, uh, but I'll do some more like roads and stuff before the next episode, and then in episode two we'll go ahead and start on our town. We're gonna need a town somewhere, so we're gonna need to hook up to these roads and have a starter town over here somewhere. Let's just kind of kind of rough that out. So we want to be a little bit away from here so we're not polluting our citizens. Uh, so probably somewhere like in here, start laying out of town. And then we'll have, over here we'll have a, a bunch of storage where we'll, we'll buy stuff. And the closer you are to the border, the cheaper stuff is. Uh, so we'll start importing stuff that we're going to use to build, you know, gravel, asphalt, concrete, electronics, food, clothing, all that kind of stuff. We'll have a bunch of storage here, and then we'll have a distribution office that takes it out wherever it needs to go. And then as we grow and expand, we'll be able to provide that stuff on our own. I'm thinking about some farms like over in here, maybe. Uh, start getting some food production going at some point. That'll be it for this episode. I want to try to keep these kind of short, around 20-ish minutes. Uh, like I said, in episode two, we'll get started on the starter town so let me know what you think down below i know a lot of you will have lots of good hints and stuff so thanks as always for watching and i'll catch you in the next adventure take care